Hello everyone and welcome back to Bunny Marshmallows. So as you guys all know, the Halloween update is out and I discovered quite a few Easter eggs, you can call them, or secrets <laughs> um, in this new realm. So I wanted to share them with you and possibly you already know them, possibly you don't. So let's get started. So the first one, I'm just going to go in crystal ball mode because I feel like it's easier for these. Okay, so first we're going to head over to the to Gemma's Diamond Exchange. So here you have the fairy, right? So the first thing I'm going to show you is kind of freaky deaky. Let's look behind her. You can see that there are actually bones behind her wings. And they are perfectly covered so that if you look from this angle, it's almost hidden except for that like one, one little shard right there, right? Now, that's a pretty freaky dicky, but I have to say, kind of a smart move from the devs. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is this. You can see that she is wearing the um, Darling Valentina, I believe, corset, and also, I think I think this is a Dear Dolly skirt, I believe, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, but well, one thing that is not from a set we already know are these boots. These boots are completely new, but not from any set or anything. That's kind of suspicious, right? How come everything she wears is from Royal High Sets, except for these boots that are conveniently hidden and you wouldn't look down on them unless you're like me, purposely searching for stuff. <laughs> um, and also, you guys know the uh, Gothalita set, right? Well, that set only has... that set doesn't have a corset or um, boots yet. So it's a bit strange. Of course, not all sets have boots, but I'm pretty sure this has something to do with what I'm gonna show you guys all in a bit. I'll go come back to it, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure you could, I feel like these might be the Gothalita boots because they, they suit the theme, don't they? Even got like some, um, what do you call it? Some netting, some fabric, uh, not fabric, what the? Some lace, okay, there you go. Some lace, slash like some fishnet looking stuff, which is like the goth part. And then we have these really cool boots with the little, the side exposed and the bow, which is like Lolita, you know? I think, I think, I think we found something guys. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you, by the way guys, um. I'm going to talk about the boots again, like I said earlier, at the thing I'm going to show you at the end of this video. I'm trying not to spoil anything. Okay, basically, if you go over to this train station, this one's a bit more obvious, but you can see here on these suitcases, there's some Easter eggs, which has property of Yancy, property of Jem Jem Ju, and property of Ready the Teddy. They are part of the team that built this realm, so yeah. The next thing I'm going to show you is this. Basically, if you press E on your keyboard, I don't I don't think this works on mobile because yeah, no, but if you are on computer, laptop, whatever, PC, uh, if you press E on your keyboard, then it says it says these auto-generated texts. Um and also, it will automatically, if you're near a house, it will ring the doorbell and let you trick or treat. I hope these bars, oh, sorry, I hope these are full candy bars. Candy for the best costume ever, please. Candy or die. Oh, that got dark fast. Oh, oh. Give me all your candy. Candy for the best costume ever, please. Ding dong, trick or treat. They're like randomly generated. Boo, steals with the candy. Candy plonks. I don't know what that means, but. Candy, 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 candy. Smell my feet. 
Sniff, sniff. I smell candy. Toothbrush? What kind of monster are you? <laughs> so, yeah, basically these texts, and it's really fun. Um, I think it's a really cute little addition. Now I'm going to show you the last thing that I've been intending to show you guys. So, uh, basically, this one is the one that's related to the boots. Some of you might know this one already. Um, but if you go all the way along the trail, past all the houses, it's going to take a little, a little bit. And um, while we're doing this, comment down below, what was your favorite leak slash secret slash easter egg so far anyway you can see that you will come to a gate that says coming spookily soon <sighs> it's dark right now and but you you can't go in it but let me see if i can turn on a filter there we go you can see that look at this there is a haunted house right here haunted mansion thing we can go in it um anyway see here there's nothing inside so far. I'm pretty sure the devs are already working on it. They just didn't publish the edit. Because obviously then people with crystal ball like me would just look inside and kill all the suspense. So here is the haunted house. Very, very, very cool. And some people predict that it is a maze. But I don't think it is a maze personally. Um, something, I don't, I'm not sure the activity. But some sort of haunted house activity and i feel like people were predicting that since there was no corset and now that we found the boots let's add on the boots since there's no corset or boots in the gothel Lita set is that what it's called that it's going to be you can win it through this activity and also if you do leave the game and then join again you can see that under activities there's like apple bobbing trick-or-treating and then tags which the developers added purposefully and i'm pretty sure it's talking about this activity so that's really cool oops why am i all the oh gosh that's creepy i'm not supposed to be there but yeah guys um anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i found these things interesting and yeah thank you so much for watching have an amazing day or night and go check this update out if you haven't already. Bye!